good stuff today. A few um, little little deliveries in these of uh, of morphine, so they seem to do the trick pretty well. I'm, uh, Go to the bag. Yeah, I'm keeping it close <laughs> here. On um, you know, this is all connected up to my legs. Breathe in, hold your breath, little pull. They breathe normally, so it was in that much. Where the stitch is. Yeah. The okay. End. Jesus. <laughs> it's a fair amount, isn't it? Yeah. For the rest of my day today, I think I'm just going to be sitting here. You, you're not going to go anywhere? <laughs> I'm not going far at the moment, no. That's pretty good, isn't it? Four days after the op, coming out of hospital, I was actually able to walk with crutches, assisted, um, you know, but take small steps and get out of hospital and get in a car and get home. But by that night, the swelling that had occurred just from that little bit of movement was just huge. And uh, from then, for about the next five days, I pretty much couldn't get out of bed. I've never seen anything like that before. I mean, I've never been really around anyone that's been injured like that or has had major surgery before. So seeing the pain that he went through is, yeah, it's fairly full on. You know, I just sort of had to plan out my days pretty carefully, you know, so like bathroom breaks and then, you know, getting food was sort of the two priorities and making sure that I didn't forget something. You know, if I went to the kitchen in the morning, I didn't want to have to go back three hours later to get a snack, so I'd, you know, plan that out. John has said, don't get upset, Mum. I have to work through this and I need you to be strong as well. So um, we've reached a pact, I think, that um, I will be strong for John to help him without displaying my emotions, which I have in front of him, because it's just been so devastating. Oh, it's supposed to be like being older, I reckon. You know, to get to the bathroom back was really tough. I was actually urinating in bottles um, and keeping them beside my bed during the day and waiting for someone to come and you know actually take them away for me, which is you know not the greatest position to find yourself in. It uh yeah that sort of shot the confidence a fair bit. You know you feel pretty little when you're doing things like that every day. Mm -hmm.